muted. Hello, this is Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Stock Market and Option Volatility Report. Reminder, this is for education purposes only, should be, not could be considered best advice, options have risk. Hey, we had a great sale yesterday um, through Cyber Monday. All, you know, all the 50% off our courses is done, but if you're interested in checking out some of our memberships, uh, option pit live slash gold uh, or gold or platinum or professional um, you know heading into the holidays if you're looking to buy it for somebody or gifting for yourself reach out to us and we can work our way through it um, so uh, you know always feel free to give us a call uh, 888 trade zero one or you can call the office so where are we right now well as I view it we're down about 10 bucks not a big deal. Uh, the Dow is down the most, and the NASDAQ is down about the same as the S&P. Uh, if we want to see the small caps, those are down less than the Dow, but a little more than the other major markets. Why? Well, tariff talk. Apple took everything down. You know, they might slap 10% tariffs on the iPhone being imported. We'll see. I, I think today is an interesting line in the sand for Apple. You know, we've seen all this terrible news come out. They basically have sold it straight down. Uh, a lot of redemptions, a lot of spirit growth. But if you look, I mean, it pays a huge dividend now. Uh, you know, you're getting, what, a 2.5%, 3% dividend now? Um, so, uh, or uh, it's not 3 uh, one and a half, 2% dividend, about a 2% dividend here. So at that point, you got to say, well, when do I want to, you know, when do, when do the value investors step in? And we might be getting that point. So watch Apple today. As Apple goes, so goes the market, the old saying goes. If this thing gets bought, even on this bad news, and gets anywhere near green, um, that's going to be a decent sign that uh, the big scare is over. Um, the fact that the NASDAQ is leading again um, is maybe another sign that, uh, hey, maybe things aren't so bad. Um, we do... See a little bit of pop in VIX, a little bit pop in the VIX futures, but really not that much. There's not a lot of fear being priced into the market. Um, you know, we're down some. VIX is basically 94. Uh, the VIX is under 20. Even VXN, which should be up on all this Apple news, is barely moving. We're seeing that spread tighten. So as, I, you know, I've been trying to kind of, figure out this market for a while, but VIX and the S&P do not correlate for very long. This, we saw, you know, very little vol pop on this big sell-off, certainly well below kind of the levels we saw in October. So, you know, as I see it, despite the fact we closed at, at a near low, we didn't get to kind of the lows in SPY from uh, late October, and Vol doesn't seem to be overly impressed by anything it's seeing. Um, so I look at a market where I think you could see a, uh, a potential turnaround Tuesday. You know, th th it lines up for that, not saying it's going to happen, but if there was a turnaround Tuesday, today would be the day it kind of lines up. All right. Again, I think that's going to matter on Apple. Lesser extent, your 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 Fang name, uh, names like Facebook and those, and then also I'm going to be looking at XRT, the retail names. Uh, it's down a touch. Cyber Monday was great, and we saw them all up on that. Uh, so I want to look at Walmart, maybe today, and maybe Target both down a little bit after having really nice days and maybe a, a touch on Home Depot. I think all of those are kind of interesting. Uh, so maybe we'll play around with some of the retail names. Uh, maybe we'll play around with some of the S&P names. Um, maybe the financials. Financials are strong today. But the only area where we're really seeing pain is the industrials. The industrials, the biotechs, which you kind of expect, and of course housing, uh, that'd be building materials. So, you know, I, I'm really interested to see what kind of the language comes out of the Fed as we're heading into this. Uh, markets appear to think that we're slowing down. 
Um, but, uh, you know, we're watching Apple get stronger and stronger. So I'd be very wary of trying to get real short unless Apple starts to trust new lows. I like the market to potentially touch green on the day. All right, folks, if you have questions, you can email me, marketoptionpit.com, or call me, 888-TRADE-01. Again, if you're really interested in learning how to trade, um, you can check out our membership levels. Uh, we're willing to work with uh, just about anybody at the, that it, that's the right level for them. So uh, we'd, we'd love to have you on as a student. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.